If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gemeter series. In this season 5 episode 3, we are going to see about thread group, how to validate it and we are going to run a quick smoke load testing in Gemeter. Next to test plan element, the very critical element in Gemeter is thread group. Here you have to mention the number of threads you are going to run, ramp up period, loop count and the duration and other properties. Assume that you are running your test plan with 30 threads with the ramp up period of 60 seconds. Then each thread will take 2 seconds to execute. So this is the simple formula which will help you to identify how many seconds will it take each thread to execute. Then after your configuration, you have to validate your test plan. Validation means you will be able to test your test plan whether it is working fine for multiple sets of data. By default, you will be able to validate your test plan by running one thread, but these properties can be configured in the jmeter.properties file. So here we have three options, start, start no pauses and validate. So whenever you right click on the thread group, you will get these options. Start means it will immediately start your thread group as per the design. Start with no passes means uh, it will not execute any timers in your thread group and validate will always run with one thread, one iteration. As I said, these properties can be configured in the jmeter.properties. Assume that you want to run always 10 uh, loop or you want to execute with timers, then you can configure those details in the jmeter.properties file. So this is how we are going to run our uh, smoke load testing. So here we have number of threads as 10 and ramp up period is 60 seconds. And we have mentioned the thread lifetime, which is 120 seconds. So totally it will run around two minutes. And in the right side, as you see, we have a simple test plan with four requests and we have a request defaults and we have a cache manager. And under the simple controller, we have the four HTTP requests with the uniform random timer maximum of three seconds. And we have the view results tree. So we are going to use a Jmeter UI to execute, but you are not supposed to use the Jmeter UI. In next video, we are going to see how to execute the same script in the CLI mode. Now let us see a quick demo how we can execute the smoke load testing in Jmeter. This is my simple Jmeter test plan where you could see there are four HTTP requests. We are hitting localhost uh, 6000 port where I am running some uh, Docker image locally. Now if you want to validate your thread group by running one thread, one iteration, just right click on the thread group and click on validate. This will display the results. If you want to run with no pauses, then you can start your execution with no pauses. So this will not execute any timers. It will just keep on increasing your number of threads as per the ramp up period and then it will start executing your script without any timers. Now let me stop this and clear everything and we are going to run with 10 threads with ramp up of 60 seconds and with a duration of 120 seconds. Now let me hit run button here and in the view results tree you can see for each request what is the request and response data and in the summary report you can see the label, samples, average, minimum, maximum and other details. Now let us wait for two more minutes and then we will see what is the results for this run. So we have crossed a one minute uh, timeline. As you could see, we have configured 10 threads and 60 seconds. So each thread will take six seconds uh, to execute. So after a minute, you will get 10 threads. So right now it is running uh, 10 threads concurrently. Meanwhile, you can also view your uh, logs in the Docker container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my uh, uh, command prompt here and we are going to execute docker uh, ps which will give you the containers which are running now and i'm going to copy this container id right click copy and i'm going to see the uh, logs of this container by entering uh, docker space logs and the container id so if you hit enter you could see the logs so everything is a get call here and everything is uh, successfully pro processing it and uh, if you want to see the last 10 lines, uh, you can just uh, pipe it using the uh, tail command and the number of lines you want to view. So if you give a hyphen 10, it will give you the last 10. If you want to find 400 error or 404 error, 
you can just use the uh, grep command here and if you enter the uh, keyword uh, if it is present it will display the line but right now we don't see any 400 just 200 so you can just make sure just uh, grep 200 it will display all the 200 uh, uh, text keywords now let us go back to jmeter and our uh, two minute execution has been completed if you click on the summary report you can see the average response time for this request it's around uh, six for all the requests minimum is three seconds uh, sorry three milliseconds maximum is 57 milliseconds the unit of time in jmeter is milliseconds and also apart from the time you can also see the standard deviation error percentage throughput and other details so this will give you some confidence so that you can proceed with the actual load test so that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments if you have a time please go to my next tutorial thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel